Welcome back to Yankee Chronicle. I'm your host, Abby Peel, coming to you from Counseling Associates here in New London, where they have just been named New Hampshire's Small Business Persons of the Year by the United States Business Administration. And I'm now joined by the owners here, Susan Borchard and Betsy Harrison. Congratulations to both of you. That's a big honor and award. Thank you very much. It was a big surprise. We're, we're ecstatic and so grateful for our super team helps us do this great work. How did you hear about that you won the award? We got a call from our SBDC rep okay. um, who had put our name in uh, and so it came as a real surprise. Amazing, a real surprise. And talk about the award in general because you won it for New Hampshire, but it is a national award, like I said, from the United States Small Business Administration. So it's big in New Hampshire, but also nationwide. It is. It's. Um, uh, it's awarded um, to uh, all of the states. Okay. Uh, and uh, as a result, um, we get um, to go to Washington, D.C. Cool. to uh, uh, in learn about small business opportunities in the nation and maybe get to go to the Rose Garden. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> but we get a free breakfast. That's all that matters, right? That's so important. Yes. And uh, Betsy, talk about the business in general for those watching that have, you know, I've never heard of you or I, like myself, have driven by this building uh, my whole life but have never been in. Talk mm -hmm. about Counseling Associates as a whole. Sure, sure. Um, Susan and I had worked together at uh, Care Search Counseling Center, which used to be in New London. And uh, we came together in October of 2004, just the two of us. Okay. Um, we used to be upstairs above, over across from the town green and um, did not at that time have anticipation that it would grow and develop as it has. So we, you know, I think our heart was in serving the Kearsarge community. Um, there was no community mental health in the area at that point. Um, and uh, that just was our heart place to start. And um, we now have currently five locations um, and we have multi-specialties. We serve all ages um, and we're just excited to have about, I think over 70 therapists wow. um, working in these different areas and it's very exciting. It is very exciting. And, and I mean, obviously this is a topic that uh, is very relevant. Mental health is something that only more and more people are talking about, not only everyday folk, but uh, people in the forefront of celebrities or politicians are coming mm -hmm. forward and really talking about it. And so you must feel like you're really serving not only this area, but uh, you know, can, can continue to help uh, with mental health. Yes, it, this is, the pandemic was very stressful for our communities mm -hmm. and our nation as a whole. One of the things that it allowed us to do, though, was to uh, use telehealth as a platform to reach more people. Um, and I think that that really has helped us bring our services to a wider area. Mm -hmm. And it's also really helped us with our training program. That's something mm -hmm. that we're very proud of, that we really have expanded opportunities for the next generation of mental health clinicians. and. Uh, are really um, viewed as one of the uh, primary training programs in our state, uh, in part due to telehealth and the ability to reach out. Amazing, and, tell, and there are things that came out of COVID like mm -hmm. telehealth that, how wonderful that somebody can be helped right in their own home or in an mm -hmm. emergency situation mm -hmm. and, and not have to have access mm -hmm. to an office or, or whatever it may be. Um, also, too, uh, having so many therapists, too, probably helps with a wait list or, or the need, but, but that is probably something that you're dealing with all the time, is that the need is greater than, you know, what you can, can achieve, and how are you working through that? Well, um, we have a pretty substantial um, cutting-edge training program, so we are growing our own clinicians, so Amazing. to speak, yeah. um, to help with recruiting. Uh, we also are working to um, bring offices to um, more centrally located places in, in yeah. the state of New Hampshire. We're expanding to Concord and Keene, and certainly we have our offices, New London, Claremont, Hanover, Plymouth. Amazing. Well. So. And Betsy, for somebody out there that's interested in your services, becoming a patient, what's the steps they need to take to do that? Great, we try to make it as easy as possible so um, people can call our office. 
um, or right online on our website, there is an appointment request form, which is secure. And a lot of folks like that. It's easy yes. to just send that in and then our office will contact them. Amazing. Afterwards. Yeah. And talk about some of the different areas that you focus on, because mm -hmm. I think uh, the average person watching might think, OK, well, it's one on one. We talked about telehealth or in person. But if you go on your website, you can see a lot of different variations. Talk about not only some of the ones that you have, but the importance of that, too. Yeah, I think that's such a great question to think about. People join us in different ways, so one-on-one mm -hmm. -on -one counseling is certainly an option. We have a very robust group therapy program, so there's lots of group opportunities, and those are both in-person and via telehealth, um, so that is great. We also offer medication management services that is new to us in the past few years. We're very excited to be able to offer that both to our own clients and to clients in the community. So Amazing. Yeah. And for all the information, uh, it's best to head to your website. Absolutely, absolutely. And there's you will find more information too. We have some specialty clinical programs like EMDR. A lot of folks look for that for mm. trauma treatment and um, child parent psychotherapy. Um, lots of specialties that um, we can meet people with. So. I think that was one of the most important things that I saw on the website was the amount of different services that you offered. And I'm sure you can call with something that's not listed and Absolutely. you have a way to help somebody do it. But mm -hmm. uh, it was amazing to see all the different, um, eye-opening and amazing mm -hmm. to see all the different uh, services that you offer. So uh, a wonderful hats off to you for that because I think you can't just think somebody can be treated in one special way. Uh, and so okay. you really have a, a quite a plethora of them for of services for them to look at. Absolutely, absolutely. And in addition, I didn't mention that we have um, couples and family therapy mm. too. So sometimes those, you know, those are what folks are looking for yeah. and another way. And um, one of the things that we really feel proud of is the fact that we believe in access. So we accept all insurances. Mm and including um, all the privates, Medicare, Medicaid. Mm -hmm. And so we really uh, try our hardest to make sure our services are uh, accessible to all. Looking forward after this year, because you are New Hampshire's business mm -hmm. persons of the year, which you said team, I liked earlier. Mm -hmm. um, it really is a, a group effort, but is there any, I mean, obviously continuing, continuing to expand and um, provide for each community you're in, but any big business goals that either you have together or for the business that you're hoping for? Well, um, I think that we are, and you know, Betsy, I mean, we are uh, a team joined at the yes. next, uh, so uh, we have a really great relationship um, and uh, really come together with regard to um, nurturing our team, mm -hmm. but I think that our goal is really to think um, about continuing our good clinician-centered work. Um, we really um, believe what we say when um, we say this is really a team award. Our clinicians are hardworking, very smart, very creative, and uh, we just do our best to um, nurture, you know, their spirit and, you know, their direction. I think mental health is not going anywhere, and I think we were at a really good place in this society that we're talking about it, which makes it even more relevant that uh, you are becoming um, just busier and busier, and I think that's wonderful and a well-deserved award, especially as we navigate this as, as a society, mental health in in general. But thank you for all the wonderful work that you're doing for all these communities and continuing, continuing to expand. I think it's so important that um, it should just be this readily available thing that we can all have access to. So. Uh, Congratulations on, on the award. Good luck in D.C. Uh, and, and I do hope you get to go to the White House. That'd be very, very cool. <laughs> but Susan and Betsy, congratulations on your award. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, ladies, and thank you for our efforts throughout our state. And it's all started here in our region. Next week, we'll be back here at the Lake Senefee Region Chamber of Commerce office, highlighting our area that offers a relaxed lifestyle and boasts a wide variety of activities for all ages. Kathy Raymond will give us a preview of this year's Women Who Make a Difference luncheon. And we'll close with Benjamin F. Edwards' Tom Robb as he preps us for this year's Black Fly Golf Tournament. Don't miss our Game of the Week second season with a replay of the number four Kearsarge boys basketball team hosting number 13 Stevens in NHIAA tournament action. All of our games replay at 12 noon and 7 p.m. on Sundays and Mondays on TDS TV 13 and 1013 and NCTV 8. All of our programs are available on demand anytime at YCNnow.com. 
I'm Abby Peel. Join me again next week here at the Lake Centipede Region Chamber of Commerce, where they feel that they owe it to future generations to care for this special place. Please join us at this same time for another edition of Yankee Chronicle. This program is supported by H.R. Clough and Kearsarge Heating. Their full service model offers oil delivery, propane, motor fuels with design, installation, service and maintenance of all types of oil, gas and alternative energy systems, as well as air conditioning, water conditioning systems and their highly trained and friendly staff will assist you throughout the process of buying, installing, and servicing a full line of energy products. H.R. Clough and Kearsarge Heating. Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire since 1997, with roots going back much further as the Country Press, AccuMail, and the home of the Kearsarge Shopper. Echo Communications. Main Street Bookends of Warner. For books, toys, games, cards, gifts, and a gallery of local art. Main Street Bookends of Warner. The Intertown Record. Your weekly hometown community newspaper covering the Kearsarge, Sunapee, Sunshine region of New Hampshire. The Intertown Record.